This is a clip of Dave Pointner getting into an argument with some guy at some pizza shop. I want to see what you guys think. What do you guys think in this? I personally don't think Dave Portnoy did anything wrong here because most of you guys know Dave Portnoy's thing where he goes and re reviews pizza, right? One bite, you know the rules, all that sort of shit. And he goes to pizza restaurants all over the world and reviews their pizzas and gives them a particular score. And, you know, because it's a really popular show now, these reviews are starting to become quite um, important in, like, the success of a restaurant. If it's a good review, your place will get inundated with orders. You're, you're going to get lines around the block and shit. It's quite good for business and just in general, it's quite a good piece of content. So he went to this particular um, place called Dragon Pizza and he didn't like the pizza. So he reviewed it outside the store like he does with all pizzas. And I guess the guy was listening to his review and the owner comes out and starts to like berate um, Dave Portnoy. So I want you to watch this clip, guys, in the chat and I want you to tell me who do you think's in the right? Do you, who's in the right or wrong here? Is Dave Portnoy in the right for like, you know, it's basically insulting the guy's pizza right in front of outside of his shop or... Um, does the owner have every right to defend his, you know, pizza that he's making? Like, what do you guys think? Let play the clip. See what we got. One bite, everyone knows the rules. It is very thin. I do smell the Parmesan. See what we got. Oh, it's a floppy mess. Strong Parmesan. This is an acquired taste. Like, if you get this, know you're going to get hit with a left, right in the face with Parmesan. I'm not the biggest Parm guy. How do you score that? Because if you like Parm, fine. If you don't, I don't. 6-4. Dave. Yes. Enjoy your pizza as any customer, but I don't appreciate what you do coming in and judging a business with one bite. Well, well we do more. Is this your spot? This is my spot. Oh, I hope you enjoy your pizza, but I don't appreciate what you do to small businesses. Well, I help. The good news is I, I give you see a it that way. terrible school. Let me be a little clearer. Move on. Don't stand in front of my business. Let me be clear. Fuck Let you. Let me be clear. Fuck Get you. the fuck out of front of my you. business. Fuck you. Don't it's a you. public You're street, you motherfucker. Yeah, but it's, it's a my public business. street. This you ain't can... your business. Yeah, but this is my business. And you can skip. Fuck you. Stay you. Here and call fuck the you. Police. He's right across the street. Go get him. What are you going to tattle me off or stand on the public street? Just being a fucking bitch. Your, your shirt's six sizes too small, fat so. Just go fuck yourself and the whole go. fucking platform you're on. Oh, you don't like the platform? You're a joke to me, dude. You know what? You're Take making your a joke. Take fucking show and your fucking game and go somewhere else. Blah, blah, blah. By the way, what? I've raised $50 million for small business. You're, you're all small. talk, dude. 50 you're million? All talk. Was that all talk? Yeah, kind of like that New York Times article. Here we out. go. Here exactly. we go. Your exactly. shirt's six sizes too small. I don't care. I Who's would some weight? You're a Who, fucking joke. You, oh, you work hard? Yeah, maybe. My man. You're so, you're so ba, 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 full of shit, dude. How? Tell me how. You're a fucking clown. How? <laughs> I run a business. I work hard. I sold my, my business twice. 100 million, 400 million you're bought back for a buck. That's a clown? Everything since I got in this business <laughs> that you represent is an embarrassment. Like what? Business. Like raising 50 million for small Everything. business? Name Everything. Name it. Everything. Everything. You haven't named one thing. Game. You haven't named one thing. I make pizza. It's great. It sucks, You're actually. You're a fucking <laughs> joke. Name one thing. Name one thing, asshole. You've given up too, I've given up too much of my time. All you've said is everything, every, name one thing. You're a fucking name joke. Name one me. thing. Clown. So, who do you think's on the right? <laughs> who do you think's on the right there? I think both parties are on the right. I'm not going to lie. The guy should stand up for his business. Even if, even if you make shitty pizza, if someone stands in front of a shop and reviews it and they got a big review show and they tear it down, you've got every right to defend your business and your pizza. Fair. Uh, Dave is also in his right to review it and tell you, say it sucks because he fucking bought the pizza with his, with his money. He can say what the fuck he wants. And it's a public street. He can stand out there and say what he wants. So I think both parties are in the right there. Business owners in the right. Dave Pointer's in the right. But... The, the the interesting thing about it, the guy mentioned New York Times articles and shit. So I think that pizza shop owner isn't a fan of Dave. He doesn't like Dave Portnoy. He doesn't like him anyway. So I think he already didn't like the guy. So, you know, it is what it is. That's what I basically think happened. I don't think he liked the guy anyway. So, so what do you think? But I, I love how, like, they said, so, oh, what happened here? This fight ended because of what? A low blow. Did the French guy lose? What happened here? What are you guys saying in the chat? Um, Matt McCusker taking the review person. Oh, yeah, true. That looks like him, isn't it? Yeah, it does look like Matt McCusker. Shit. Good, 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 uh, good notice there, um, Darkwood J. That does look like him, doesn't it? That does look like him. Yeah, you're right. It does actually look like him. <laughs>
Um, he's defending his small business wasn't too hostile then Dave had to drop the F-bomb and went left yep true Dick mentioned concept of a slice exactly space guy he paid for the pizza is it is it is it a real clip I think so I hope, I hope it's not a sketch I think it's real to do right in front of his uh, worst though yeah he had the Vim ready Dave took it to next level though um, I don't know though I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know I wonder can Dave fight what do you guys think in the chat because Dave just, I love Dave Pointer. I do like the guy, but he does talk a lot. He does talk a lot of shit, right? He does walk around and talk a lot of shit. Like he's got, he's got strong rich guy energy. So he does talk a lot of shit. Do you think he can fight? I'm going to say no. I think he's, he's, he's kind of guy that talks well. He can get like, you know, he's kind of got good comebacks and stuff. Like, you know, talking about the shit, the, the shirt being six sides too small, but I don't think he can actually fight personally. What do you guys think? No, hell no. I told you the French guy would win. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Austin Casey, you did say that. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I think both parties are in a right here. Um, unfortunately, it went left. That's sad. And, um, yeah, man. If anything, it's going to do actual good business. It's going to do a good thing for the guy's business, I think. I think people are going to actually go to the store to... If you don't like Dave Portnoy, you're going to go there and help him out, right? And buy loads of pizzas. So it's going to be good for his business because they're going to be like, okay, we're going to stick it to Dave Portnoy and we're going to eat our pizza here. Um, for Dave Portnoy fans, it's good to see him getting in a public spat because, you know, it's going to make you like him more because he said to the guy, fuck you, and he was on smoke, um, which I don't mind, to be completely honest. But yeah, I think both parties were in the right here, to be honest. I think both parties were in the right. I think both parties were in the right. 